Welcome to my video tutorial on how to embed a web-based video into your NetVibes information portal. To begin, you'll need to first open your public NetVibes page that you're using as your information portal. In this case, I've created one for my research on veterans issues. The second step is to actually open the web page that hosts the video that you'd like to embed as one of your learning artifacts. With web-based videos, you will typically see either on the video itself or just to the right of the video something called embed code. This is HTML code that you will need to have your video live live within your NetVibes portal. With this CNN video, a convenient link is provided in the upper right hand corner that says Share. If I click on that text box that says Share, I see a menu of options for actually sharing the video through web links, to email to someone, my actual embed code that I'm going to grab in just a moment, as well as other social networking options such as Twitter or Facebook. I can even use a social bookmarking service like Delicious to keep track of that video. For right now, I want to grab the third link from the left, which is the embed uh, feature. If I click on that icon, HTML code is generated and I can press on the copy embed button to conveniently grab the HTML code. Now I'm going to toggle back to my tab with my NetVibes page. And in the upper left hand corner, I want to choose Add Content. I'm going to go to the Essential Widgets and I want to choose HTML Editor. This is the widget that I prefer when I'm working with HTML code of any kind. By pressing Add, NetVibes will automatically pop that widget onto my information portal. I can either leave the box in the default upper left hand corner or I can slide it to the appropriate column where I would like for it to live on my information portal. Now I'm going to press on the edit button to actually go and put my video onto my page. I'm going to press edit and it will take normally 30 to 60 seconds for the editor to load. Your internet speed, the number of applications you may be running and your browser may impact the loading time. Once the widget loads, press on the gray tab that says Source. Delete the existing text. Paste in your code. You may also want to, before you close out, to put an appropriate title for that widget. This video is entitled Women on the Front Lines, so I'm going to change the name of my widget to reflect that. You will need to check your spelling as a spell checker is not built into this feature. Now I'm going to press the OK button and depending again on my internet speed, applications I may be running in my browser, the video either may appear immediately or I might need to press the F5 button to refresh my page to see the video. I'm going to go ahead and press the F5 button since my browser seems to be a little non-responsive. And as I patiently wait for the browser to load, then I will eventually see my video appear on my NetVibes portal. Depending on the source of the video, you may have to watch a 30 to 60 second commercial prior to seeing the video. If you would like to actually watch the video, you can press the play button and watch the video on your NetVibes information portal just like you would the actual page. By embedding this video on your research portal, you can conveniently access that information source as well as create a living wall, if you will, of all the information sources that you are using in your research project. If you have any difficulty embedding your video code or finding the embed code for a particular video service, please see Ms. Hamilton in the library and she will be more than happy to help you with those tasks. Thank you for watching this video tutorial on how to embed a web-based video into your NetVibes information portal.